What is up everyone? Today I'm going to bring to you guys a very simple video of how to set up appointment reminders in Go High Level. Now for those that don't know what Go High Level is, it's one of the best softwares out there if you're starting a business, if you're starting an agency, if you're running any B2B businesses, local businesses, it's the software that you're going to need and it will replace basically 99% of all the softwares out there for a fraction of its price. So if you haven't already, there's a link in my bio down in the description of this video where you can get a 30 day free trial of Go High Level instead of the normal 14 days one. I am affiliated with them, but that means that I'm able to give you my own course once you sign up to Go High Level under my link. Now that we got out of the way, let's get into the video. So I use Go High Level for everything from my agency and I've managed to scale over 10K per month. But today I'm just gonna show you a very simple process of when someone books an appointment with me how I set up my workflow so that they get automatic appointment reminders. So I don't need to use any third party softwares such as Calendly. So we're first gonna go into the automations tab and we're gonna go create workflow. And we're just gonna pick start from scratch. Now from here, we're gonna add a trigger. Now what a trigger is, is basically once something triggers, the following is gonna happen. So the first thing that we wanna do is choose a workflow trigger. Now, the one we want to choose is this one, customer booked appointment. From there, you're going to add filters and then you're going to go in calendar and we're going to select the calendars that we have. So I'm just going to go Jackie's calendars time and save trigger. Okay. Now, if you don't have a calendars already set up in Go High Level, you need to do that first. Otherwise, you won't be able to see any calendars. Now, going on, we're going to press the plus button and we're just going to send a very simple email and SMS. So send email. And then from, we're gonna go Sky, Sky Reno. So that's my renovation company uh, agency that I run in Brisbane. And then from email, we can just do reno.com. That's my email subject before I wrote use chat GPT. And you know, I got it to spit out some of this. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. And then the text, copy that paste it in. All right. Now that's already halfway done. Now in here, we're just going to delete this high client name and add in our custom values. So we're going to go contact and we're just going to go first name. So what this is doing is essentially when this email sends to my client or automatically input their name into the email. And this is a friendly reminder about your coming appointment with Sky Reno. Perfect. Appointment date. Delete again. And then we're going to put in appointment start date I wanted a new line and then do the same thing delete this and then put in appointment time start time and then address appointments meeting location there we go we're excited to see you please let us know at your and then if you have any questions or please let us know uh, we won't put contact information. We'll just put, please let us know. And then our name, we can just put Jackie Sky Social. Cool. Then we're going to copy and paste that because we're going to use the same thing for our SMS and press save, save action. There we go. So our email is done. And then we're going to add in another one, SMS. And then we're literally just going to paste whatever we had in our email up here and then save action. Now, what we're also going to do is that's going to be initially when they booked our appointment with us, this is immediately going to send out. Now, if today you want, you don't want it to send out immediately, you can go in and also put in a wait. Some people like to put like a 30 second delay in there, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to put a wait in here. And I want to set it so that it's a day before the appointment and I want to send my client another reminder. So what we'll do is we'll go event appointment time before uh, we'll just put one day. Okay. And then save action. Okay. Now it's going to wait until one day before the event. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we want to send an email and this time from name is going to be the same Sky Reno. Oh. Subject line one, your appointment is in one day. 
okay and then we can literally just paste our things in and we'll just change here about your upcoming appointment is in one day okay and then we're going to copy all of this again save action and we're going to do the same for the sms boom boom save and that's done so this is probably one of the most simple workflows that you can do but it's also super effective you can also add in as much wait times or as much emails as you wish and so that your clients would get all these emails and text reminders so they have absolutely no reason that they should say that they forgot their appointment or they didn't see it so i hope this guy so I hope this quick video has helped you guys. If it has, consider giving me a thumbs up or subscribe because I do take a while to edit and record these videos. So that'll be very much appreciated. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.